so we are back here with a whole bunch of random parts in front of me. Uh, everything from my spacers to my ball joints, the camber kit, extended studs, we got springs and a plate relocation kit. Um, these springs are not for me, the relocation kit is not for me. The springs are not going to open up but the relocation kit, I'm going to let you guys have a look at it since most of you guys are on the street every single day. Pretty good addition to the car. Uh, the spacers are pretty basic. They're just spacers. And the roll center adjusters, we're gonna have a look at. And I'll talk to you guys about this camera kit really quickly. All right, the first item that we'll have a look at is the Accord Tuning Club camera kit. Now, this is something that they offer in Russia. And I ordered it, brought it here just in case I would need it to get my car a little bit more camber. It utilizes the OEM ball joint and the adjustments are on the side which allows you more clearance with the shock tower and the knuckle arm. Uh, that's the main reason I did get it was to hope that if I run into more issues with my Skunk 2 kit I would switch to this one and solve a few issues but not all but so far the Skunk 2 kit's been going okay and this will be my backup kit. Okay the next item on the list is going to be the wheel spacers uh, it comes with OEM size studs, so you have some brand new studs. Uh, okay, that's how it's packaged, just two on top of each other. Uh, these are just five mil spacers. These are just in case the rim gets too close to the spindle arm. I will use this to space them out. Uh, the rim is 18 and 18 by 10 and a half plus 15. Uh, so it gets pretty close as you guys saw in my previous video. So if that happens, then I'm going to use this to uh, correct that issue. Okay, the next item up is the hard race roll center adjuster. You know, we have a nice hard race sticker. Uh, I guess these two stickers can go on to the lower ball joint. Retainer rings, cotter pin, facer. And here we have the lower ball joint roll center adjuster. Not too bad. It looks a lot bigger than the OEM one. And I'm gonna leave it in the plastic. I don't know if this has grease on it or not, but I'm gonna just keep it in here. But you have a look at it. Okay, the last thing we're gonna have a look at is the license plate relocator kit. Uh, well, the RPs. Extended studs are just extended studs. They are just a bit longer than the OEM. Just so when I add the spacer on, there's no issues with wheel torque or an offsetting anything. So, license plate relocation kit. Some instructions on how to do it. Uh, optional accessories, we have none. H hardware, pivot plate, receiving cup, pressure plate, and fasteners. So just basic hardware that you would get with any package, kind of like furniture packaging. You have the mounting bolt. So this mounting bolt. Pretty much that's all it is. Solid piece, the hex on one side, threaded on the opposite side. We have the mounting plate, which obviously the plate will go on to. Very nice finish. Alright guys, so that's all the parts I have for today. Uh, the relocation kit and these springs are not mine. They're actually for the Q50 that I had in the previous video drifting in the snow. Uh, everything else will be used on my car and uh, might be used on my car. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys an update soon on the car situation in the garage. Uh, later on in the week when I put everything back together and it's on the floor. I'm just going to go over a little bit of what I did with the spindle arm and yeah, take it to the shop and hopefully get a great alignment done and I guess get set for the track hopefully in late April or early May. Cool. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks.